Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, we are into the second tutorial of reinforcement learning. And in this particular video, we'll try to implement a simple reinforcement implementation uh, where we'll just try to create a small application. It will be hardly, you know, uh, two to three classes. We'll just try to write a very basic code and see that how reinforcement learning can be implemented. Okay. If you don't know, as I said, this is my second tutorial. If you have not seen the first tutorial, this is what the first tutorial is that where I've ex actually explained about what is reinforcement machine learning. And if you don't know about reinforcement machine learning, guys, as we know in machine learning, we have supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement. Supervised and unsupervised, I have been uploading a lot of videos in my YouTube channel. Uh, reinforcement learning is a complete different section. So I've created a separate playlist for this. So please make sure that if you have not seen the first video, I'd suggest just go through this particular video. Here I've taken an example of AWS, but the implementation wise, the basic theoretical understanding has been clearly been made in this particular video. Now in this video, we'll try to just implement a simple reinforcement learning application with the help of Python code. Okay. Before going ahead, guys, you need to really understand the smaller components of the reinforcement learning, right? What are the important components? I'll not say smaller, but the most important components that is agent. Then you have environment. Now, based on the environment, the agent takes a specific action and based on this particular action, the agent receives a reward. Okay. It may be a good reward. It may be a bad reward. And whenever the agent is receiving a reward, the state of that particular agent may also change. Now, considering this, we will just create a smaller Python application, which will be able to learn in this specific way. I'll not say learning also, but at least implement this part where it is at least receiving a reward, uh, a different kind of reward, a positive reward or a negative reward based on some specific action. That is what we'll try to create. We have a lot of frameworks in reinforcement learning, which I'll also be trying to upload in my future videos. Now let's go ahead. What is the anatomy of agent? So first of all, we'll discuss about this particular agent. Okay. What is the anatomy of the agent? You can see that the entities in RL world, that is the reinforcement learning world are the agent class. What is this agent class? What is this agent class? It can be a thing or a person that tries to gain rewards by interaction. In practice, the agent is a piece of code that implements some policy. Okay. Agent is nothing but it is a piece of code which will be implementing some policy. I'll discuss about this policy, what it is, but you have to really, really remember this, what it is. It is just an entity. In short, you can say that agent class is just like an entity. Uh, it is just like a piece of code that will be implementing some policy. Okay. The next thing after agent, the next thing we need to understand is about the environment class. Now the environment class, it's, it is a model of the world that is external to the agent. Like suppose if I'm walking in the road, right? Road is the environment. I am the agent. Okay. It provides observation and rewards to the agent. Suppose I'm the agent. I'm walk, walking in the road. Suddenly the, there is a turn in the road. Then obviously by seeing that particular environment, I will take a turn in that specific road, right? So that is how a agent also learns. And if I'm turning in the right position, I'll be able to uh, reach my destination very, very quickly. Right. And that is how in the reinforcement learning also similarly, the agent will learn. Okay. So let's write our first RL code. Okay. Now, first of all, uh, what we'll do is that we'll try to create a class environment. So here we have created a class sample environment. And remember guys, this is just basic Python code. Reinforcement learning is more about Python code guys, just simple implementation. We just need to find out the way that how we can train the agent how we can get, how we can capture the new environment, right? And based on that, what kind of reward we can actually provide it to the agent itself. So here we have created a simple class, which is called as sample environment. And inside this, we have our constructor, which is called as init. Okay. Now this constructor, <clears throat> it is defining a variable, which is called as steps underscore left is equal to 20. This basically says that probably suppose if I'm designing a game and it needs to be completed in 20 steps. So that is what I have actually kept over here. Just think in that specific way. Okay. In this problem statement, I've actually kept a variable, which is called as steps underscore left, uh, which is just like 20 value. This is like the maximum number of steps in this, the agent can take, play, 
agent can basically take in order to gain the rewards okay you can think in that specific way the next thing is that here you have a function which is called as we have defined a function inside this environment which is called as get observation 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 okay and this you will be getting some three coordinates and this can be any kind of coordinates guys not only three you may also be getting four you may be getting five you may be getting six anything right so this information is nothing but the information regarding the environment okay here i have just randomly written it as three by just placing some values like 0 0.0 0 0.0 0 0.0 we have still not decided and probably i'll not be implementing in this video like how do we decide you know what the environment value should get returned don't worry about this this can be anything okay this may be some kind of logic which is actually giving you some information regarding the environment that you need to understand here i've just hard coded it to 0 0.0 0.0 0 and 0, 0.0 that is the main thing that you need to understand now the next step is basically get actions now this guest action is nothing but by when the agent performs a specific action he or she should be getting some rewards right and that rewards may be one or zero in this particular case i'm giving one and zero the reason why i'm giving one and zero i'm considering one as a positive reward i'm considering zero as a negative reward okay so re the agent over here will be performing some action and based on that they will be getting some kind of rewards so for that we have defined zero and one what are the possible number of uh, that basically means what we are going to do in this particular code i'll just show you but in this get actions it is giving two rewards zero and one okay zero and one every time in this get observation it is giving three values all the three values are zero i have just hard coded it the logic the logic has not yet been written because this is a simple rl code implementation okay so logic we have still not decided logic will decide in the upcoming videos then there is also another function which is called as is done is done basically means when your the step left will get completed at that time we will try to send a boolean value from this function suppose if the steps has been completed we should basically say some boolean value saying that yes the steps has been completed this will give an indication that now the agent will not be able should not be moving here and there okay finally this is basically the action step in the action step first of all whether the agent should take an action or not how it will check first it will call this particular function it will go and see whether the step step if is, is there any steps left if it is not left if it is not left then only it will raise an exception saying that the game is over if it is left it is just going to decrement that particular steps okay and then it is returning some random value okay uh, this is just a simple implementation now this was with respect to your environment the same thing i've explained it over here okay so you can see that the step functions accept environment instances as an argument and allows agent to perform the following actions observe the environment make a decision about the action to take based on the observation submit the action to the environment get the reward for the current step okay now one more thing i really want to specify basically about the class agent now you, we have seen about the class environment right we have defined about this class environment and we have covered almost everything now with respect to the agent agent will definitely be performing some kind of will be implementing some policy now what is this policy okay so here you can see in agent we have defined initially the agent uh, the the rewards that is basically been assigned is 0, 0.0 okay now the agent will be doing some uh, it will be taking some movement based on the environment it will be doing some kind of task based on the environment so you can see that observe the environment first of all it will observe the environment then it will make a decision about the action to take based on the in, uh, observation and then submit the action to the environment and then he will be getting the reward okay so similarly we'll be defining over here this is my function that is step over here we are going to take the sample environment object then we will get the observation okay this particular observation how we are getting it don't worry about it over here we have just hard coded it right so we i'm calling the get observation here you'll be getting zero 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 you can see that i'm also printing this then i'm getting the actions in actions what are the values that you will be getting you will get zero and one right you'll be getting zero and one once you get zero and one what i'm doing is that i'm picking up that action value randomly as a choice i can either pick 
zero or one. If I pick one, that basically says that it is getting a positive reward. If I pick zero, that is basically like it is getting a negative reward. But why I am picking that is not, I have not defined that whole implementation. I'm just randomly picking over here what kind of reward I should be giving this particular variable. Okay, what kind of reward? Okay, so here we can see that when we write env dot action, it is in short calling this particular action over here and then it will implement this. After implementing this, it will say that try to reduce this particular step by one because we know that the maximum number of steps are 20. So we'll try to reduce this step by one every time we are calling this and then we will be getting this particular value, only one of the value, not both the value. It can be randomly picked right now. Again, I'm telling you guys, here we have not written any logic. Well, logic is just like we are randomly picking up the rewards, right? Usually what happens is that when I call this get action or when I call this action, there will be some implementation. And if that, if that path, if the, if the, if the decision of the agent is correct, then only we should be providing the positive rewards. Okay. Otherwise you'll be getting the negative rewards here. We have just randomly taken this. So finally we'll get that particular reward and finally we'll be adding the reward. After we call this agent functions, you'll be able to see in this, right? When I'm calling, first of all, I'm calling environment, I'm calling agent, and then I'm calling this. Then internally, you can see that when env dot is underscore done, we are calling this agent dot step. This agent dot step is nothing but this function. And this in turn will be calling all these particular functions, right? So like this, for how many number of steps it will happen? Let's see how many number of steps. Suppose if I start over here, I'll say i is equal to zero. Okay. And then every time I will increment I is equal to I plus one and then I'll print I. Okay. I'll say that. Okay. This is my steps, uh, steps, uh, with some value. Okay. And then I'll write dot format. Okay. And here I'll write like this. So it will say step one in after step one, what will happen? We'll call this function. This function is calling this one, right? And inside this we'll get the observation and we are printing the observation. See, I'll print over here the observation, observation, right? And this will be zero only because I have not written any format, right? This will always be zero. I cannot change that. What will be the action? The action will also be like zero and one because here we have not written the whole logic, right? This just that we want to train it for 20 steps and it should be able to get maximum number of rewards, okay? And then you will be able to see we have done this, we have done this. So let me just execute this. Let me just execute this. Now here you'll be able to see guys, see in the step one, the observation is written this, this, okay. We'll also try to calculate the total reward and we'll try to print the total reward every time. Let's see. So here I will say that my, okay, total reward, okay, is nothing but by a placeholder dot format, okay, and I'll say self dot total reward. Okay. So after every iteration, I'm probably trying to print it. Okay. Now here you'll be able to see guys, see, uh, the total reward over here is 0.351. Then it became total reward 1.193. After step three, it became 1.64, 1.906, 2.481, 3.46, 3.84 like this. Finally, you'll be able to see that the total reward that we got is 11.567. And every time, every time it will change. Every time, whenever I execute this, it will change. Now this time I got 10.7. Okay. Let me just execute it once again. Then this time I got 7.1186. Okay. Then this time I got 8.28. Again, we are running it for 20 different steps, right? And obviously our application should be trying to move towards that part from where it will be able to get the maximum reward. But here that all things are not happening, but at least we are accumulating the rewards based on the environment. So I'm saying you that this is the basic RL implementation code. In the upcoming videos, we'll be seeing various frameworks like how will we decide that, how to get this observation, how should we decide to give the rewards or not. All those things will be implemented in the upcoming videos, guys. But this is just an example of simple reinforcement learning implementation. So I hope you like this particular video. This is a tutorial second. I'll soon be coming up with tutorial third. Uh, where I'll be discussing about different different frameworks in reinforcement learning and it'll be pretty much amazing since I've been exploring for many months and finally I got a chance to upload all these videos. So please do subscribe to the channel and yes, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Bye-bye.